Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50ps we're hunting through, looking for some commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally we want to fill the book. There is a link in the description to the books that I use if you want to pick one up. We of course need that Kew Garden still to finish page number one. That is the ultimate holy grail of the 50p coin hunts. We've got lots of Olympics still to tick off, plenty of those to find, and then outside the Olympics it's just Flopsy Buddy we still need, so very good progress on the rest of these coins. We're complete up to and including the uh, Coronation 50p, and I'm still waiting for my first Atlantic Salmon new 2023 definitive. Uh, lots of you have found it, and I know lots of you in the comments have been saying you're still waiting as well. We will find them, we will find them, we've just got to keep patience. But anyway, let's sit into the bag and see what we get. Right then, bag number one. We'll open in real time and I'll show you what we're looking for. That is Britannia, the definitive design uh, up to 2008. It's 2008, which is the low minted circulating year to look out for. Uh, oh, that's a nice one. Taylor of Gloucester. A smidge over face value, the 2018 Beatrix Potters are, because they were relatively low minted, so that is a very welcome first find. Um, Anyway, now we'll find a shield. There it is. Shield became the new definitive after the Britannia, so from 2008 until 2022. The key dates on this to look for a 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18 and 2021 for the years that didn't circulate. And 2017 is the low minted circulating year. Oh, hang on, what was that? Oh, it's 2006. For a moment I thought it was 2008. I'm not actually really looking out for the key dates as we go through the first time. I will, of course, at the end of the video, go through all the coins individually uh, and look out for those key dates. Now, this is Scouts. Uh, it's a fairly common coin, but in 2019, to celebrate 50 years of the 50p, these 10 designs were restruck for collector sets and not circulated. And you can see Scouts just there. If you find any of those 10 coins, what you want to do is flip it over and check the date. So that is 2007. So that's not a restrike because all the restrikes are dated 2019. But so that would make a very cool coin to find because, as I said, it shouldn't be in your change. Right, bag number one is done. We've got a couple of nice finds. We'll just speed up now until we find some more. Oh, there we go. Didn't take long. 2017's Peter Rabbit. All the 2017 Beatrix Potters are very, very common. Though. You'll find plenty of those. Well, there we go. So, this could be a very exciting moment. This is the obverse that is on a Q Gardens 50p, but it is also the obverse of a WWF 50p, which would be a nice consolation prize if it's not a Q Gardens. That's a lovely coin. It is, of course, the obverse of a Commonwealth Games 50p, which uh, is very, very common. But if this is the Q Gardens, holy Toledo, what a find that would be. Oh, it's WWF. That's fine. We'll take that as the consolation prize for not being the Q Gardens. Um, not the best it could be, but definitely a star find. It's uh, lots of people's favourite designs, I can totally agree why. Oh, there we go, another PD Rabbit from 2017. Just showing how common they are. Oh, 2017, that'll be something. Jeremy Fisher. So that's half of the 2017 Beatrix Potter set found so far. Oh, there's uh, Benjamin Bunny, the most common commemorative 50p in, in circulation. Check for the rotation error, which this one unfortunately doesn't have. 
We just need a uh, Tom Kitten, then we've got all 2017 Beatrix Potter coins, which is quite cool. Oh, we've got Pride there. Very nice coin, recently put into circulation, still exciting to see it. And there's Paddington at the Cathedral there. Very nice, one of four Paddingtons you can find in your change, all four are particularly common there, you shouldn't have much problems uh, if you're trying to find all four of them. And there's another Benjamin Bunny. Sadly, no rotation error. Oh, there we go. One of the 29 Olympic coins. This one is um, a Paralympic one. It's Boccia. Very, very cool. Anytime you find one of these uh, 2011 coins, it's always going to make for an exciting hunt. Um, I don't recall if this is a new one for the book or not because we've still got so many Olympics for me to remember because my memory is absolutely terrible. Well, there we go. That's dictionary. Very, very common. Another diversity, oh, not another diversity, it's our first one. It's another commemorative, it's diversity with Britain. It is another fairly common commemorative coin there. There's a Paddington. Paddington at the station there. Very cool. There is another diversity book, Britain. Oh, Victoria Cross, heroic act. Again, fairly common coin, but this one could be a restrike. Check the date. It is 2006, not 2019, so this one is, of course, not a restrike. Oh, coming up. Another dictionary. Battle of Britain. So, Battle of Britain, there's a few things to look for. There is the restrike version. There's also the alternative portrait. So, the ones that went into circulation had Jodie Clark's fifth and final portrait to the Queen. But there's a version of this coin with Ian Rank Broadley's fourth portrait to the Queen, which wasn't put into circulation. So, we can see it is a 2015 JC Jodie Clark fifth portrait to the Queen. So, sadly, not uh, one of the NIFC exciting variants of this coin. There's uh, another 2017 Peter Rabbit. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Olympic number two. In fact, it's Paralympic number two. We've got uh, archery there. Excuse my sneezing there. Very, very cool to get two 2011, or two of the 29. Amazing stuff. Oh, and we've got Brexit. Check your expiration date, 31st of January 2020. That's how it should be. That's a very nice quality one, but uh, not too exciting, unfortunately. They're both they are very common coins. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Jeremy Fisher. Oh, we've got Platinum Jubilee there. Now again, fairly common coin that went into circulation, but there's two portraits you can find. One that went into circulation, one that didn't. As you can see, we have Jodie Clark's fifth portrait of the Queen. That's the one that should be in circulation. The one that isn't has the Queen on horseback within a garter. And there's another dictionary. There's another Brexit, more pepperonis, with the correct expiration date, unfortunately. Oh, I saw 2011 as we flipped it. Three in one hunt. Holy Toledo, what a find. Olympic Aquatics, no lines over the face, but we don't grumble because finding three Olympics in one hunt, that is outstanding. We've got Christopher Ironside there, very common, but you will know I keep my Christopher Ironsides because we we're both called Christopher and uh, that seemed like a sensible thing to do before I had way too many of them. And we're on to the last bag of the hunt. What a hunt this has been. This is a, a marked improvement on some of our more recent uh, hunts, but uh, that's the way it goes. Sometimes you don't find anything, sometimes you find all the goodies. Right. Links as usual are in the description of this video over to my coin collecting discord server if you want to come and join that. There's also links to my other social media channels as well as the PA Box address if you want to write in to me. Uh, and links to the Britannia Coin Company YouTube channel, the company I work for as my day job so please do go and check them out as well. Now that we've pulled out all the commemoratives, I'm just going to whiz through and see if there's any key dates I've missed. In terms of our key dates then, we've only got the one. It is a 2008 Britannia, which is a... Uh, Better than a poke in the eye, isn't it? But uh, unbelievably, with three Olympics on the board and the WWF, um, nothing new for the book. We've got those three Olympics, unfortunately, but uh, oh well. Uh, we won't grumble about that because three of these is uh, makes for a very, very good result. So uh, let me know in the comments what you'd pick as your star find. I'd probably pick mm, maybe the Aquatics. I'm not sure. So you let me know what you'd pick. Um, all that leads me to now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.